Red Dead Online is not dying, and actually it's doing quite good, that's what I can tell after listening to the Take 2 interactive software earnings conference call. It's an event where they talk to investors, telling them how much money they've made in the last quarter, and after that answering some questions, actually without giving any real answers. Capitalism. But anyway, according to Take 2 officials, Red Dead Online is doing actually good, much better than they've expected. And also we have some cool news about backward compatibility for both GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. But first we discuss this conference call, because it was really optimistic and kinda boring. Mostly they are talking about how much money they've made out of NBA 2K and GTA Online, but there is some information about Red Dead Online as well. So first of all, net bookings from Red Dead Online experienced 96% growth in the last quarter comparing to the previous quarter. So basically they've almost doubled up their earnings from selling gold bars in this game. Another cool number, there is a 47% increase in the amount of new players during this period and 28% audience growth. I have no idea what do they mean by audience, but it's also growing, so cool. Overall, from what Take 2 officials told to the investors, it seems like they are satisfied with Red Dead Online and it's growing and it's doing fine. Actually, when they were talking about different sources of income, they always placed NBA 2K on the the first place, then GTA Online and Red Dead Online always was on the third place, which is not that bad. Anyway, Take 2 officials are definitely disagree with people who are saying, oh Red Dead Online is dying, nobody is playing this game, dead game. According to their numbers, it's not a dead game definitely and it's actually growing. And yeah, they are comparing with the previous quarter, time when nothing was happened in Red Dead Online, nothing at all. So I assume there shouldn't be that much of a gold bar purchases, but still 96% growth is 96% growth, it's a lot. And keep in mind, the Naturalist update wasn't the greatest update ever. I mean, if instead of the Naturalist update there was something like Outlaw and Lowman update with heists, I bet that growth would be 400% instead of 96%. By the way, there is another indicator of the fact that Take 2 and Rockstar are not giving up on Red Dead Online and actually see a lot of potential in this game. Take a look here, that's a Naturalist update announcement trailer, 11 million views. That's a lot for Red Dead Online, I mean Moonshiner update had a little more than 500,000 views. Even Frontier Pursuits update trailer had less than 6 hundred thousand views and that was the biggest update that we ever saw in Red Dead Online. But here is something interesting, amount of likes under the Naturalist update trailer and Frontier Pursuits trailer are almost the same and you know what does it mean? It probably means that most of these 11 million views came from advertising. And that's a great news actually, because if they spend so much money on advertising it means that they believe in this game and they don't think that Red Dead online is dead. But there is one thing that bothers me a lot in this conference call. They've mentioned few times that they expect future growth from GTA Online in 2021. But they haven't said the same about Red Dead Online. And it's kind of, you know, so they expect 7 year old game to bring them more money next year, but they don't expect relatively new game to do the same and it's kinda weird. I hope that is because there are some plans about Red Dead Redemption 2 release on the next console generations, plans that they don't want to share with us just yet. Because a few times mentioned about GTA 5 release on the next console generation and haven't said anything about Red Dead Redemption even if they were asked directly. Also today Rockstar published Newswire about the backward compatibility on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. And of course there will be backward compatibility, it's not a big surprise, but what cool is that they confirmed that you will not lose any progress and even if you play GTA Online or Red Dead Online, your current progress and accomplished will be available on the next console generation. So it's a cool news here. 
But at the end of this article they say, stay tuned to the Rockstar News Wire for details on the upcoming expanded and enhanced versions of GTA 5. But again nothing about the new version of Red Dead Redemption 2 and it's kinda weird, I mean I'm pretty sure that they will release Red Dead Redemption 2 version for the next console generation, so why are they not saying anything yet? It's suspicious. By the way, there was a funny moment when they were asked some uncomfortable question about NBA 2K financials. They answered simply, we don't share that level of detail. And I remind you, it's not an interview or something, they are talking to their big investors. Anyway, there were a few more interesting questions, not specifically about Red Dead Online, but about all the Take 2 IPs in general. For example, what do they think about crossplay? And the answer was like, meh, meh, we consider it, maybe someday, not now, we don't know, we have a crossplay between different generations of console, but crossplay between different platforms is, mm, nah, we consider it. Pretty much the same answer was to the question about free to play models. They were like, mm, we consider it, we sometimes do it, like with GTA on Epic, but we are giving so much value to the players for the price that they are paying, so it's like, we will consider it, we, we consider it. Anyway, nothing really interesting was in this question answer, just like in the whole conference, but there are some definitely great news for all the Red Dead Online fans, it's official. Red Dead Online is not dying, it's doing actually good. So let me know in the comments what do you think about this data, are you surprised with this 96% growth because I am, and I'm not gonna take any more of your time. Thank you for watching, до свидания.